We are at the farmer's market. It's pretty much over now. We came here probably like an hour before it closed. The only thing that I really wanted to get were some flowers and the one vendor that I saw last time that had bouquets, she was all sold out already. So kind of missed it. And I think today is like the last day of the fall market, if I'm getting that correctly. But we did get some Volkers. We got <clears throat> some dark chocolate danishes. It looks really good. We had breakfast at Black Bear Diner and Ellie's just playing at the playground right now. Just letting her get out her wiggles a little bit. I'm not really sure what else we're going to be doing today. It is my birthday, so whatever it is that I want to do, I'm sure Matt will let me <laughs> do. But we kind of had like our outing yesterday, so we'll see what else there is to do today. checking in much later in the afternoon it's like almost dinner time basically matt went to go and get some ingredients at the grocery store because he's going to make some beef bulgogi um <clears throat> we were out pretty much from mid morning to like mid afternoon so it was really fun to just like be out of the house and basically all we did was like pashal pashal and the kids did really good Wolfie didn't have a blowout, so that was great. <laughs> um, but he's definitely very tired right now. He's kind of cranky, so I'm trying to get him to go down for a nap, but he doesn't seem to want to do that. We picked up some stuff from World Market, and I got a couple of things from Nordstrom Rack. Yes? What is it? Okay, I was able to put Wolfie down. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what I got. Oh, by the way, I think I mentioned this in a previous vlog that I was gonna get a phone earlier in the week and then I didn't end up getting it because I just like couldn't, but Matt went ahead and he just got it for me. Um, so now I have a new phone, which has been, you know, really scary because I still don't have a case for it. I ordered a case for it off Amazon and it's supposed to come today, but it's still not here yet. So I've been like really scared. <laughs> out and about because it's just, it seems so big. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra and I've never had an Ultra before. Matt usually gets the Ultra and yeah, it just seems like really big and like super fragile. So I'm like really anxious having it out <laughs> without a case on, but I'm gonna get the case today and hopefully, you know, I don't drop it before I get a case. Anyways, um, we went to World Market. Yes? I know, baby. Here, let me, you want a banana? While you wait? What do you want to eat? Here, let me get you something. Come on. Okay. Sorry. Interruptions. The first thing that I picked up is like nothing super special, but it's just a little Sailor Moon soda, a lychee soda. This is the lychee flavor with chibiusa. I'm a big lychee lychee girl, so I wanted to get one. The next thing I picked up were some McVitie's Digestives. I always get the dark chocolate, and these are my absolute favorite cookies to get from World Market. They have an insane cookie collection. Everything, any kind of cookie you can imagine is in stock, but these are the ones that I always get. Dark chocolate. And then <clears throat> Matt picked up this moisturizing man bar. This smells so good. 
he had one previously from that's like the same brand but it was a different scent this one smells really good it has a very like clean scent with like the tiniest little bit of like a muskiness it's called midnight amber fragrance and i i like these because they i can smell this on him like throughout the day and i feel like I wish that they had ones that, that were like this for like women because I feel like all of the body wash or like the body soaps that I have, um, they don't like last long on you. Like they don't linger. Um, and I wish that I could find one for like women that, I mean, I probably could just use this because this is a scent that I would love to have on me as well, honestly. I also picked up a bath mat because we needed one for our bathroom. It's just a really simple, forest green bath mat, but it has like a cool checkered texture going on. Um, and that was only, this was only 20 bucks, so it was pretty good. I got a hand towel. I only got one because we only have like one hand towel ring in our bathroom, so it wasn't really necessary to get like more than one, but I just got in a matching color scheme. And then I had a 15% discount code because it's my birthday. So I saved some money on that, which was great. And then I think Ellie also picked up like a little like mogu mogu drink. Also a lychee, for, lychee flavor. The lychee girls, you know? My sister was talking about how she went to Nordstrom Rack and she picked up some jeans. And so I wanted to go and see if I could find any jeans that would, uh, that I, that I liked. But unfortunately I didn't see anything that was like similar to what my sister picked up. But I did find a couple of things that I liked. I found this Free People, or Free People Movement, I guess. Be right back. Hold on. Okay, sorry again. I picked up this Free People Movement romper. Um, the color isn't necessarily one that I would normally gravitate towards, but I did like the actual like fit, and I like that it has pockets on the side, so I mean, I'm really only going to be wearing it to work out. It's not necessarily something that I would like wear out and about like on the daily. And this was only $34, $35. So that's pretty good. And then the last thing that I picked up, this was like a last minute grab because I just like randomly saw it, but it's just a billabong, a black billabong t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt that it has like a cropped length. I really like the graphic on the back, super cute. It just says, under the palms and kissed by the sun. Cute, really adorable. So I like a good long sleeve graphic tee. That's all that I really found. I looked in the shoes section because I normally like to look at the shoes at Nordstrom Rack, but again, they didn't have anything that I was looking for. So yeah, they had these really cute green Adidas for um, babies and I was gonna pick it up for Wolfie, but it was still $35 and I was like, he's gonna grow out of these so fast. Not that I haven't paid that much for kids shoes before because I bought Ellie Vans before. I justified that more because I had Vans and me and Ellie could match and that was my reasoning. Whereas like I don't wear Adidas even though like they were really cute ones for him. I don't know. I couldn't justify it at the time so we didn't pick it up but they were really, really cute. Maybe another time. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna go put some of this stuff away because it's just like piling up here in the cow room and I need to just get it out of here. But yeah, so far it's been a really chill and relaxing birthday. Um, you know, I'm 34 now. So my day pretty much consists of hanging with the family and that's all I really wanted, you know, just a low key birthday. It was really sweet because like the whole morning, Ellie just kept telling me, happy birthday, happy birthday. I'm gonna have a cookie now, this is what they look like. It's just a chocolate covered biscuit. So good, love it. There were way more things that I wanted to get at, at World Market. But again, I just like, I want to be one of those people who buys seasonal decorations and seasonal plates and napkins and things like that. And sometimes I do, but when I'm looking at it in the store and then I see the price, I'm like, I don't want to pay this much for a mug 
that I'm only going to use in December. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to start using it now because I'm still in like the fall Halloween kind of vibe. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. They had so many cute like nutcracker themed things. Like so freaking cute. I feel like I should probably like allow myself to have like one seasonal Christmas mug, but I'm trying to I'm trying to hold back. I'm trying to restrain myself, you know? All of the Nutcracker stuff was so cute. I would have wanted to get like the entire collection. <laughs> Last year, I got a couple of items for my Halloween slash fall decor. And I literally only have like four things, that's it. And so I brought them out to like decorate that, <laughs> to decorate the fireplace mantle. And I'm trying to like make it work, especially with like the candlesticks that I got um, yesterday, but it's not quite there yet. I wanted to get a garland to go across the fireplace, to go across the mantle. So Matt said that maybe we can go to Michael's tomorrow and see because I know a lot of their stuff is like on sale now, especially like all of their Halloween stuff is on sale. So maybe they'll have some, you know, autumnal uh, garlands that are available if they haven't cleared them all out already for Christmas stuff But I'd like to have something because my family is coming for Thanksgiving So I want it to be somewhat festive for Thanksgiving. I don't want to just jump right on into Christmas. I'm just not there yet It's exciting like seeing all the Christmas stuff. I really like 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 looking through all of the Christmas uh, Decorations, but I feel like it's too soon. Oh, let me show you what it looks like so far. Here's a little man. He's taking a snooze. Okay, so this is what the fireplace mantle looks like right now. This wall is so bare. We really need some artwork to like go up here in the center of it all, but this is what I have so far. I made this witch hat last year, I believe. I think it was last year, or it might have been two years ago that I made it, and I figured that was the only other like Halloween type of decoration that I had that could fill the space. So I put it in the center there. I had this little crystal pumpkin from last year. I bought these candle stick holders. I have a set of two from an antique shop. And then like this pumpkin, this little um, candy corn tree, and this ghost. So I tried to like space them out and then I've had these candlesticks, I think I got them from Anthropology like a while ago. So it's kind of there, but kind of not. I feel like I need something like in the background here. So I definitely want to put a garland going across here. But yeah, I feel like I need something on the wall as well. Um, but so far, this is what it's looking like. That's nice, honey. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Oh, it's already 11 in the morning. We're kind of getting a late start. Me and Wolfie slept in until like nine because he just couldn't go to sleep. Me and Matt had planned to kind of like put the kids to bed and stay up and play board games and watch TV. But Wolfie had other plans. He went down for bed at eight and then like clockwork, woke up 40 minutes later and was just having a hard time going back to bed. Um, Matt tried for like 30 minutes trying to get him to go back to sleep and then I eventually had to go up and Try and get him to go back to bed tried for like 20 minutes and then we were both just like, you know what forget it um, Let's just bring him downstairs with us and maybe he'll fall asleep Downstairs with us and he did not <laughs> he did not do that. So we started watching Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. We ate ice cream and had some junk food because it was still, you know, it was my birthday yesterday. So we were trying to have like a fun junk food night, kid free. The only thing that I really want to do is I want to go to Michael's and then um, the Michael's is also next to a Target. So we're gonna stop by Target. I want to see if I can find a costume for Wolfie. I feel bad because he's definitely getting second child syndrome where I'm not excited or like involved in getting all of his firsts. Do you know what I mean? It's his first Halloween and I have not even concerned myself with what his costume is going to be this year. So I feel really bad and I want to get him like a really cool costume. So we're going to go to Target and see what they have for babies. Um, this year Ellie 
said that she really wanted to be a pumpkin for Halloween. So we got her a pumpkin costume. I should have gotten it a lot earlier than when I did, but I was able to find one on Amazon that wasn't too expensive and would come before Halloween and it's actually coming tomorrow. So it would kind of be cute if Wolfie was a pumpkin too. I'm gonna see what they have. Wolfie's taking a nap right now, so we're gonna wait for him to finish up his nap and then we'll head out. So um, Ellie's outside just riding her scooter while Matt is in the garage cleaning up because he worked on the desks. I'll show that to you. So these are the desks. I wanted to show them. I hope it's like not like a little bit darker. So. We painted them this really nice green color and then matte sanded the desks. They look so good. The seats go up like that. They're so cute and we got a really cool like yellow number two pencil stain. So it's going to be Ellie's school desk. This is where she'll be doing all of her school work and yeah, it looks so good. Okay, we're about to go out. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing today. I just have my... Los Doyers hat, a little Harley tee, and these pants are from Free People. They're part of the Haley sweater set. And then I've just got my Vans on. options in terms of fall garlands but we did find these two one that has these like acorn bells and then this other one that has like dried leaves and pine cones and yeah i think they look pretty cool so we're gonna get these and they're 50 percent off too started getting really really fussy so I'm feeding him now and Matt is just finishing up getting the couple of things that we needed from the store just so we have something for dinner tonight but we literally had like ketchup and pesto sauce in the cart and that's it and then Wolfie just like could not take it anymore so unfortunately we'll have to look at Halloween costumes for him another day then because he just like couldn't take it but he's very upset He's very upset today. Okay, we're back from Michael's. We went to Michael's and then we went to Target really quick. I was gonna look for a Halloween costume for Wolfie, but then he was just having a hard time. So we're back home now. He's mad again. The main thing that we got was this garland. That is all messed up now. Trying to get it out very gingerly. Okay, there we go. So because it was a fall garland, it was 50% off, which was great because it only came out to $15. So it's a bunch of dried leaves. There's a couple of strands here that have like little berries, but it's mostly it's mostly dried leaves and pine cones. But I think it'll look cute enough to stay up until like even Christmas too. Okay, let me show this to you. Can you just eat an apple? I think it's cute. It's a little bit lower, I think, on this side, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do in terms of like redistributing it. I also grabbed this garland, acorn bells. So this one's very harvesty themed. And I figured it would look really cute to hang them all together. Does that look cute, Matthew? Oh yeah, I like that. Is that weird that like these are kind of like, you know? Okay. I need a nail here and then I'll rearrange it, but. So far, this is kind of like the vibe that it's going for, which is cute. I, I think that's cute. And then the one thing that we did not go to Michael's for, but we ended up leaving with were these cute little LED wooden villages 
well, these are just like the, the buildings of a village, um, but they light up and me and Matt have been talking about like creating our own little Christmas village. I got the cafe and then Matt got the A-frame. We picked up some paint brushes. We got a whole <laughs> pack of acrylic paint, an assortment of colors to paint whatever we want our village to be. We got some trees here. These ones are miniature evergreen trees. We got some miniature redwood trees. And then, oh, Matt got two miniature redwood trees. Then we got the grass mat. So they had one that was like, that's like this size. And then they had one that was, I think probably maybe half the size of it, but it didn't look like it, it was like a big roll and it didn't say how long the roll of the mat was. So we figured we'd get the bigger one and just cut it to size. Ellie got a little like car, a little like wind up push and go car. And then they had this one there and I was like, this would look so great in the village. And Matt was like, you're right. So we went and we got it. So this is for the village as well. And then, oh, Matt picked up some hot stamps, some letter hot stamps for the desks because he wants to um, engrave the kids' names in their desks. So that'll be really cute. Um, that's everything that we got from Michael's. We're gonna be like creating our Christmas village, which is just really exciting. It'll be a fun little project for us. You know, one thing about me and Matt is like, once we start a, a craft, like once we get into like a new hobby, we're like really into the new hobby. So yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very excited for us to like get this going. Cause I think it's gonna be so cute. They also had Santa's workshop. They had the barn for the reindeer. They had a bakery. They had a couple more, but um, these were the ones that we wanted to start out with. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go and put some of this stuff away. And then, yeah, I'm like feeling really jittery right now because I'm super hungry. I didn't get to work on my vlog from yesterday, so I'm gonna combine today and yesterday's vlog into one. So we're gonna have another like weekend vlog. <coughs> Woo! Okay, I gotta go.
much finished my house, my little cafe. It's still drying, but that's what it looks like. I feel like I could still go in and like touch up the brick and make it look a little bit more, you know, brick-like if I wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna let it dry and then probably what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll test a spot to see how I like the texture that I put on. I don't know, I'm, I'm probably gonna like dry brush a little bit of like the darker red or a little bit of like white to make it look a little bit like there's like limestone on it or something. I don't know. Oh, I should probably put some lights in the trees on the side. Maybe I'll put some lights on it or maybe I'll add a little bit of like snow. But it's kind of cute. The When I painted over the cafe sign, um, the the sign that was there kind of got um, got hidden. So I tried painting over it. It looks okay. It doesn't look the best, but you know, it is what it is. And that's what it looks like. It looks so cute. <laughs> wow, it does. It looks great. You should show yours, babe. Matt's looks so so cute. Yeah, you should. This is Matt's A-frame. He did some green shingles and purple trim, and he even added the Christmas lights on the top. It looks so freaking good. It looks so cute, babe. Love it. I'm gonna show her. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, so cute, definitely. I already want to go back and get the rest of them. Uh, we're this, <laughs> this, we did this quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, it's a fun, it's a fun craft to it's do. Very fun crafts. And now we have our village started. Yay. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for joining me this weekend. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.